Alright, hey, hey, he's Mick here, so, uh, haven't shot a video on the, on the Light V for a while now, so, uh, but, uh, so if you guys watched the last video that I shot on my Light V that I put up, um, it was about the belt, so, I got my new belt today, so, hey, he's make a suggest, you buy a spare belt, so you don't have to wait so long, I, my bike's been down for, like, two weeks because the belt's still busted, so, um, yeah, once once the teeth come off of this belt, then that's it. You can't ride it anymore. So, um, so I was looking at a bunch of belts. There's only there's only there's a couple places you can get them. So I thought Hayes Mega could go to an auto parts store and just just tell them like, hey, I, this is the kind of belt I need. You know, um, it's a timing belt is basically what it is. It's a very small timing belt. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Um, the timing belts are much longer than this. At least for dual overhead cam cars. Um, but yeah, I thought I could just go to an auto parts store and tell them, like, hey, I need this kind of belt. It's a 568M, you know, that kind of belt. H it's a HTD belt is what it's called. Um, and we'll go take a look at... Um, I'll, so, so this video is going to be some information about belts for the primary drive on the Soron, okay? Um, now, I know I'm not really sure what belt's in there right now because I haven't taken it out yet, but... Um, Lunacycle sells a Connie Tech belt. That's a Continental belt, and um, it's a pretty good belt. It's the same belt that they use on uh, Mitsubishi's. I know that because uh, I have a Conti Tech belt, and uh, and it's not in such good shape. <laughs> let's get back. Let's go take a look at it. All right. So this is not something. This is like the most horrific, horrific thing you'd want to see on your car <laughs> if you have an interference engine. Uh, so this is a Conti Tech. Uh, timing belt that was on my uh, Mitsubishi Galant, and it decided to give up on me. So Connie Tech, Connie Tech or Continental, um, you know they make tires. Um, there, it's a German company, and supposedly they make really good belts. So this belt, uh, this belt decided to break on me. I don't know why, um, but but uh, because of this happened, I I bent like three valves. So this is what happens, you know, when the belt breaks. <laughs> It's all bad. Okay, so so that's my experience with Connie Tech belts. So Hayes Mega prefers Gates belts. Okay, Gates makes good belts. I always put Gates belts when I do timing belt stuff. But Connie Tech is good. It, 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 that's the OEM belt for like what Mitsubishi is using a lot of other automotive cars. So, but I went with the Gates this time. So I bought this Gates belt, and I had to I had to import it from UK to get it. So I'll give you some more info on this. Uh, we'll take a closer look at it, and um, and I, and so the purpose of this video is to give you some information about belts for the Suron Light B. So, Hayes Mega did not want to go with the chain conversion because I like half at least half of my Suron to be quiet, you know, and pretty pretty much the belt is maintenance free, you know, it doesn't stretch much, you know, um, but Hayes Mega thinks he bought he's bought the the most strongest belt for the Light B, so. Hopefully this will last me a long, long, long time. Uh, the la like I said in the last video, I think the belt lasted about two years. Uh, I had the bike for like more than a year, and then the previous owner has had the bike for about a year too. So, so that bike had like two years on it, like about two, two maybe three thousand miles on it. I'm not totally sure how many miles I got on my bike because my my odometer doesn't work on it anymore. But I, I know I had more than a thousand miles on it. So. Um, and uh, and yeah, I hardly did any maintenance. I didn't didn't do any maintenance with that belt. So hopefully, hopefully with a little, if you tighten the only really the only maintenance you have to do with the belt is so you need to tighten it every once in a while. You can't really clean it. I it some dirt and dust does get in there and it makes noise. And I noticed like when I wash the bike, it uh, it stops making noise. So, uh, but uh, as much as possible, you do not want to put any kind of uh, liquids lubricant, dirt, you want to keep dirt, all that stuff off, 
off of this. You don't want any of that stuff on here um, because that will reduce the life of your belt. Um, if you have a squeaky belt, you don't spray it with some kind of like belt dressing or something. You tighten the belt. That's why. So, so when the belt starts to get noisy, that means you need to tighten it. That's what that means. So, um, hey, he's mega doesn't pay attention to it, and, and that's what happened. Some of the some of the teeth came off of the belt. So, we'll take a closer look at this, and, and I'll give you some more info on the on this belt. I also did order a belt from Luna Cycle, but I haven't got it yet. I'm planning to go drag racing on Wednesday, so I I'm, I was thinking like maybe we're not gonna go this week. Maybe we'll just go next week. But uh, but I got this, and uh, drag racing is the day after tomorrow. So if I put this on tomorrow, we can go drag racing. So um, I, I'm interested to see what kind of quarter mile times this bad boy gets now. So all right, so let's uh, let's go move over to the the washing machine, and then uh, we'll go check out this belt. Okay, welcome to my little workshop. All right, so this is the belt that I bought. Um, so like I said, it's a timing belt, it's a teeny tiny little belt. I don't really know what they would use this for. Maybe maybe like a robot or something. I'm not sure. Um, so this is just what it is. It's a Gates Power Grip GT3 belt. I know they make other timing belts too, like a GT4. This is kind of like an old belt, but um, this is a custom cut belt, is what it is. So you could probably get a bunch of belts from like China and have them custom. There's there's people out there that will custom make you a belt and stuff. Um, so this is one of them. And I'll actually measure it to see. Um, I did measure the pulley, and the and the biggest you could put in there is about a 17 millimeter, and this is a supposed, supposedly a 17 millimeter wide belt. Okay, um, Hades Omega did a lot of research on belts. Uh, these this last while his bike was down. Um, so like like I said, this is a Gates Power Grip GT3. This one is made in UK because I bought it in UK. So I guess Gates Gates is all over the world, you know. There's an in Australia, they're in America, um, but this one came from UK. Um, so this is a GT3 560, so 560 means the length, I think, 560 millimeter. It's an 8M belt and GT, so it's an 8M GT, that's, a, that's, that's the version of this belt right here, okay? Um, now, if I don't know, if you can go to your local par auto parts store and tell them, like, hey, give them these numbers, you might, they might be able to get you a belt, but I don't think... I don't I don't know what uses this belt, so I don't think uh, you can just get it at auto parts because I I Hades Omega actually tried. Okay, <laughs> it is a timing belt. That's what it is. That's basically what it is. It's a timing belt, but there's nothing really in time. So um, if you're wondering how many teeth it is, if you're trying to find out, um, you know, trying to order a belt from somewhere, it's seventy teeth. Okay, I actually uh, we can I will actually count it. But I, I looked at a picture of it online, and I, and I counted all the teeth on it. I think it was from the LunaCycle website, and it does have 70 teeth on it, okay? So, but also, we'll go look in the manual. Um, but, uh, okay, so this is, the, this is the info on the belt. This, I bought it off of eBay. So if you're, you guys are interested in buying this belt, you might be able to get it on eBay still. So it's a Suron Lightbeat primary belt drive and we'll go I'll go read this for you fed up of pushing your bike back after a short-lived ride out sick of waiting for that moment of disappointment when your beloved Suron comes to a grinding halt then look no further the Gates GT3 is the absolute finest strongest and most durable dry belt on the market and possibly the entire world plus I don't I don't know who's selling this I don't know if this is a, a shop or anything I didn't get any kind of invoice I think somebody's just made a bunch of belts and they're selling them um, you simply cannot buy these belts this size anywhere else these are custom cut to 17 millimeter and we'll go actually measure that the widest possible for the Suron light be I think the stock size belt is like 15 millimeter I think on e-bike Zilla's website they said that the belt I think that somewhere it said the belt was 16 millimeters and it says yes it's slightly more expensive than a buying a Connie tech but indeed much stronger. Uh, indeed, yes, this will last much longer. It's your choice. Free and fast. It's not fast. It's not free and it's not fast shipping if you live in the United States. Uh, this took about, this took almost two weeks for me to get. Um, yeah. Uh, but it actually wasn't that expensive. So if you look here, it's 39.99 pounds and 10 pounds shipping. Uh, I think it's supposed to be free shipping if you're in UK, but... Uh, 
it, so that that equates to about fifty dollars and twelve dollars shipping. So if you think about it, it's really not much more expensive than the Connie Tech belt that Luna Cycle sells. So um, that's why I went and bought it. I wanted like the strongest belt. So so to see how much we I, I punish this bike a lot, you know. Um, yeah. So it says they're almost all gone too. So lots of people have been buying it. So that's a picture of the belt right there. And that's the one that I have right now. See. Okay. It's a Power Grip GT3. Okay. So yeah, it took, I ordered it on July 7th and it was delivered on July 20th. Okay, so it took 13, to, yeah, two weeks, took, took about two weeks. So so that's how long it takes for it to come over to the pond. The interesting thing is when I, when I sent, when I've been checking the tracking, it got to New York like super fast. So apparently like, you know, it just, they just threw it on a plane and off to New York it goes, you know, and then, um, and then it. And then the tracking just said it stayed in New York for a long time, like it, like they forgot to scan it or something. Um, and then it made its way over to, to you know, San Jose, California, where I live, and um, and I got no more tracking updates after that. And then and today I was just like surprised. There, oh, that's my belt. <laughs> I, I thought it was still in New York. I thought it was uh, stuck there in like customs or something. You know, it's a belt. It's not you know whatever you know. So there it is. Okay. So, so we'll this is the manual for specs. the Saron Light B, and we'll kind of look at the specs here. So this is the primary drive system right here that we're interested in. It's a HTD 8M belt with 560 millimeters. So that's where you get the uh, the 560 here, and it's an 8M. So GT miss means mean that's just, you know it's a certain type of belt um, in this kind of line here, and GT3 is the type of belt from. Uh, um, Gates, so it's a it's a power grip GT3. It's 560 millimeters. It's 70. It's 70 teeth. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video right here. I'm gonna count them and I'll I'll I will verify that it is 70 teeth. And 70. Okay, yeah, it is 70 teeth. So it's 70 teeth, 560 millimeter length belt. Okay, and it's an 8M. Uh, it's a HT, HTD 8M, so that's what you want to look for when you're ordering one of these belts. But um, really, the only place I could find these were like you know places that sell Suron stuff. So that kind of sucks. It's not a common belt that you can easily find like at auto parts store. Um, yeah. So um, I know you can. I know for sure you can get it at LunaCycle. Um, I know you can get it at eBikezilla, but eBikezilla didn't have them in stock. And I think they have a 16 millimeter belt. I'm, I'm not 100% on that, but it could be a 16 millimeter because that's what it looked like it was. This is a 17 millimeter. Let's go, let's go measure it. All right, we got handy Mr. Caliper here. We're just gonna take a sample here. It's 17.3 millimeters. It's actually a little bit more than 17, but that's okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about 17. So there you go. That is supposedly the widest you can get for the Soran. I guess the wider the better. Um, the uh, the stock. I think the st when I get when I take it off, we'll measure it. But I think the stock belt is supposed to be 15 millimeters wide. The when I was looking for the belt, it's actually not too hard to find this belt. But they're either coming 12 millimeter or 20 millimeter. There's nothing in between. There's no 15 millimeter belt. It's like a weird size belt. Okay, so that's why you can't find one easily. It's you know the size of the belt, the pitch of the between the teeth and everything is like a weird size. It's not. It's 15 millimeters, so it's kind of weird. They don't have 15. They don't have 16. They don't have everything is either 12 or 20. That's the ones that Hazemaker could find. So Hazemaker thought he could be slick and like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna see if I can buy it like at an auto parts store, or somewhere online, somewhere else other than like a Suron seller. You know, honestly, I don't think these belts should cost like 40 bucks, man. Uh, mm, yeah, I think if this belt should cost like 20 or 30 bucks. You know, it, it's it's a really small belt, man. Um, but yeah, it is hard to find, and that's probably why. Um, it's not a very common belt. I don't know what else you would use this belt for. So I don't know why, you know, where they got the idea. At Sora. Oh, I'm pretty sure the reason they use this belt is because this is probably the only one that would fit, you know, inside that, you know, the swing arm and all that stuff. So 
There's a, there's a reason they use this size belt. It's it's a weird size belt. So um, there's you can order some belts from China too. Okay. Um, so yeah. So so those are the specs right there. I wrote them down. So 560 millimeter. It should be an 8M belt. Um, it should be 15 millimeters is a standard size. That one is a 17 millimeter. So you can fill the belt up to 17 millimeters. Could you use that 12 millimeter belt that Hades Mega found? Eh, probably, you know, I don't think it would be a good idea. You probably want to use the widest belt you can get. Hopefully that fits in there. Um, so what I'm thinking is they probably they probably bought the 20 millimeter belt. I don't know, it says 17 here. So I'm thinking this is this is a custom belt made in like by by Gates in in UK. I don't think you can get these in the United States. Um, hopefully hopefully Gates sells starts selling Suron belts, but uh um I know they make they make it for the the secondary drive for the uh, the Luna Cycle kit, but but yeah, so this is it's a pretty good belt, seventeen millimeters thick, so or wide. Okay, all right. So that was uh, that's some info on belts for the Suron Light B. Um, I was hoping to get the uh, the Luna Cycle belt. The one that that Luna Cycle sells, so to compare it with this, but I don't think we're gonna get that chance. So, um, so but uh, but yeah, there's this video, and then and then when I get the other belt, we'll take a look at it, and um, I'll tell you what I think, you know. But uh, but I highly suggest you have a spare belt on hand, okay? So I know it's it's a little bit pricey, it's forty fifty bucks, but but hey, uh, you know that's downtime. You know you have to go order the belt; it has to get shipped to you. Hades Omega was already in the process of trying to acquire a, a spare belt when mine broke. So, uh, to you know, to not fast enough, Hades Omega. <laughs> As I have, I don't know. Hades Omega just had some some feeling like, man, I, I, this belt is probably not gonna last much longer. And sure enough, it didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, Hades Omega suggests you carry uh, you. Yeah, you should probably carry a spare belt with you, like you know on your little toolkit, you know. Now, you don't have to carry it with you on the bike cuz it's it's all if you had to re if you had to replace one of these on the trail, it, it would be a lot of work. <laughs> um, it's 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 a lot of work. So, we'll find we'll find that out when Hades Omega installs it in the next video, all right? So, so thanks for watching. That's some info on the primary dry belt on the Suron Light B. This is the one this is one I found on eBay for about 50ish dollars. And uh, I had to import it from UK, so um, supposedly it's the best belt you can buy. So that's why I bought it. Um, it would be cool if they had different colored belts too, you know. <laughs> but but, uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I, I will be getting another belt from Luna Cycle, and so we'll check that out when I get it. And then um, I don't think I'm going to get it tomorrow, so, so this is going to go on the bike tomorrow. So uh, we'll just we'll just take a look at it when we get it. So, but yeah, so that's the Gates Power Grip GT3 belt. It's a 560 millimeter ADEM HTD. All right. And it's 17 millimeters wide. So, all right, here we go. Okay, hey, hey, this is Meg here. So, uh, I was editing the video on the Sauron Belt vlog. You know, I was giving the info on the Sauron Belt and and then I mentioned like, oh yeah, you know, I wish I could compare the Luna Cycle belt to the Gates belt that I got from UK. And then uh, it turns out that, uh, it turns out when I was editing that, that was, uh, you know, it was a while ago. <laughs> so, so fast forward to now and I have the belt and I'm still editing the video. So I figured, hey, let's go, uh, let's just add this clip in there. So that's what, that's exactly what this is. So this is, this will be at the end of the video and we'll go take a look at the Suron belt. All right, so here it is. This is it. I got it to. I got it. I got it today. I got it today. Yep, the day I started editing the video. So, um, so there it is. That's the belt right there. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much crazy detail in it. I got this for forty dollars ish from uh, uh, Luna Cycle. I believe they're the only place you can get this belt in the United States right now. Um, e -bike Zilla, you still doesn't have belts as of now and there it is so that's that's the belt so it says DND synchro power belt HTD 568M oh you know what we can do we can compare it to the Connie Tech belt 
There we go. Stock belt. Aha. Go okay, so yeah, if you guys... Um, I shot the last video before I changed the belt out, but kerplam! I have the old belt right here, okay? <laughs> this is the this is the old damaged uh, Connie Tech belt, okay? Um, so there it is. It's Continental Conti Tech, okay? There's the new belt right there, okay? So, like the specs on the Sauron manual, it says HTD 568M. So there you go. It's got all the right specs, okay? Uh, one thing we want to find out is how wide is the belt, okay? I'm assuming it's somewhere around 16. If you remember correctly, the Gates belt that I bought was a 17. Um, the Connie Tech is a 16. I'll, I'll, wait, I'll measure it again. But here's the caliper. It is roughly 16.3, yeah, 16.3 millimeters. 16, yeah, 16.3. Let's measure it on the other side. It's not the same. Oh, yeah, 16.3. It's a little bit bigger on this side. I noticed that these belts aren't, the widths change. See, they change, see? This is a 16.5. Anyway, it seems like 16.3 was the average. The stock belt is 16.3. Okay, it's made to the exact same specifications. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly the same, almost. I'd imagine this one had probably shrunk after a while, too. Oh, I probably don't want to measure around where the teeth are missing. Yeah, 16.2, 16. We'll just say 16 millimeters, okay? So, so there, that's that's your comparison right there. Um, these are both 16, <laughs> okay? The one, the one uh, from Lunacycle, I don't have no idea who made this belt. I can tell you Continental made this belt. I can tell you Gates made the other one. This one, I don't know. Uh, what I'm assuming Lunacycle has done is they. Uh, they ordered a bunch of belts from a Chinese company to make them a custom belt. That's what it's. That's what this seems like. D and D Synchro Power Belt. Mm, well, let me let me go Google that actually. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is a this is a D and D Synchro Power Belt. I have never heard of them before, um, but I do know there are uh, there's there's like companies online that you can have them make you a custom belt and that's probably what they did they had them build this HTD 560 8M belt okay and then they had the width they had a custom width made 16 millimeters just like the stock belt okay um, so the gates one is one millimeter yeah just about one millimeter larger so um, I feel 16 is probably what you want you know 16 16 is a good size Okay, but 17 is bigger, so that means it must be stronger, right? <laughs> uh, let me go do some googly and uh, figure out what this D and D synchro okay. power belt so, is. So, the company that makes this belt is D and D Global or something, and uh, they are in Iowa, Iowa, United States. Okay, so we've got a lot of interesting belts from interesting places I hate his mega is just totally nerding out on these belts man <laughs> I'm telling you okay this one is from Germany okay made this is made in Germany right here this one is made in the United States okay and then we've got um, we've got the Gates belt that was made in UK now I know Gates has a company like they have a headquarters here in in United States too I think I think it's in California also so but it looks like uh, what Lunacycle has done is they, they've, uh, they put, they ordered a belt from D and D, and they had them made to this specification. I did go on the website. They do have a catalog on there with a bunch of numbers and different. There's, there's like a gazillion belts in the catalog, and I the I think this one is called a Dura Torque belt or something. Okay, and it is a timing belt, so you can see it's got some kind of. Um, some kind of belts inside. I think it's a carbon belt or something that makes it stronger. So you can see it right here. Okay, just like the stock belt. You can probably see them. 
it's got like a little grit yeah, this is, so this is what's in, in the guts of the belt right here see it does look like it's made out of carbon or something or fiberglass some, some kind of strong composite material okay so pretty strong belt it take a lot of force to snap that okay all right, so yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's what you get when you order something from LunaCycle. If you guys have ordered something from LunaCycle and you've got a different kind of belt, please let me know in the uh, comments below. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, if, if it's just to the same spec and everything, this should work fine. So I, I see no problem using it. It's just like, it's kind of weird. I don't know where, I've never heard of a company named d, &D. I was expecting to get like a Connie Tech belt. So... So I actually don't really know where I can get this belt, to tell you the truth. <laughs> um, but, uh, like I said, uh, the only place you can get a belt for a Suron right now that I know of as of this video is LunaCycle in America. Um, even eBikeZilla that's in Canada, you can't get a belt from them right now because they don't have any. So they're not in stock. So that's why I say make sure you got a spare belt handy because once that if your belt goes bad um you know it could you don't know if you can have access to a belt or or you know it, it could take you a while to get another belt um especially if they're not in stock so so fortunately uh, luna cycle has these in stock so i would suggest you, you go buy an extra one for your sword all right okay Thanks for watching. That's uh, that is the final clip of the Hazen Mega Sauron Belt uh, vlog. All right, here's me go.